win. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Operation Automatic Gearbox Swap. <laughs> so I've just picked Buckner up. Daniel Buckner, he's the owner of uh, Simply Tuning with Brock Leeson from Leeson Engineering. These are the boys creating the next biggest thing in the cruiser world. Just picked him up from Blacklist. He's getting his car detailed, worked out great. Bringing him back down to the shop. What are we doing today? Uh, do some wiring measurements just so we can uh, make sure we make the loom the right length so we're not yep. having to pull on it too tight or anything. And then uh, maybe suss out shift amount. Ooh, and uh, in the next couple of days, it should all be in and fitted up and no yeah. real dramas. And then we're just waiting on the one drive piece. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll get some footage today. We'll pull the manual out, throw the auto in, see how it all fits up. Have a, have a watch, stay tuned. Anyone who doesn't know what a drag is, it's a little black box, looks like this, and it measures your zero to 60 times, zero to 100 Ks an hour, 100 to 200, whatever you sort of want to do with it. Pretty accurate, and it sort of verifies those through satellites, and we'll see how fast it is with the manual, so when we put the auto in it, we can see how much faster it is with the auto. Pretty cool little comparison. I'm gonna leave it on the same multi-map mode, that's exactly the same comparison, and I'll have to get Dan to hold the camera, I think, when we're doing this. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Here we go. Alright. We got a 0 to 60 in 4.6, and 0 to 100 in 8.8. That's not as bad as I thought. Yeah, that sounds fast. <laughs> it does sound fast <laughs> for a big old 4B. <laughs> Run me through that again. <laughs> what just so, happened there? It's a swivel socket, part of the swivel, and then a locking extension so it doesn't fly up and hit you in the face. So this, this is what you need to undo a gearbox. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have that down in Newcastle. <laughs> so me and Buck are halfway through removing the old manual box. The boys are pretty happy that they've covered everything when it comes to putting the new one in. Get it off. Split it from the transfer case and look at putting the new one in. Should be. Fuck, we might even get it in today. Maybe. Maybe. So we still gotta have second lunch. Yeah, I gotta have second lunch. <laughs> then we gotta have beers. Yeah. <laughs> we did stuff around all morning. We went and checked out Buckner's R34, which is 1000 horsepower GDR weapon. Then we drove Lambos around. Uh, we might not put that in. <laughs> then it was Smoko, <laughs> and uh, now we're actually doing something. Broken, but nearly broken. Oh, yeah. See these shiny bits where it looks like it's been slipping? Oh, yeah. That's because you're a menace. <laughs> Me? Yeah. Never. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Buddy. <laughs> Is there much weight difference? Uh, I don't know. 
We guess when we get the transfer off that, we can put that on the scale. Ooh. Yeah, okay. What's your prediction? Fit. Fit. I made it. It's got a fit. Fit. It's going to fit or not fit? It's going to be sweet. It's going to be sweet. Fit or not fit? I don't think it's going to fit. Oh! You can leave. G'day. I'm Brock from 8 Speed AU and Lisa Engineering. And for some reason, we're working as Land Cruiser instead of my drift car. Hi, I'm Dan. I own Simply Tuning and I'm the pain in the ass of the stupid ideas that I make Brock build. You don't want this kind of guy around, eh? It's just more work. I'm Brad. I'm here to supervise and drink beer. That's about it. All right, guys, this is Andrew from Zero to 60. You would have seen the first episode releasing the auto transmission conversion, announcing it. Announcing, yes. He's the man that's more technical. He's the one explaining more about what it is, what it does, and so on. I'm here to bang it in. <laughs> so watch, watch us to uh, bang it in. Watch him for some more um, info. All the questions you want to ask will be answered over there. And, and just to follow on from that a little bit, uh, something that I do kind of want to cover that I know a lot of people probably haven't got their head around yet and why this gearbox is so different to all the Toyota gearboxes and automatics that are out there. Uh, I want to touch on the technical side of the inside of it, how we're making it work in the Land Cruiser. I think that's kind of cool. The yeah. fact that you can get a Land Cruiser communicating with a modern electronic box. It kind of blew my mind. So, <laughs> um, And just little things like that. Things like uh, how we're going to make sure it doesn't overheat on the sand if you're yeah. driving in deep sand and that sort of stuff, which I know that kills all the Land Cruiser boxes that people put yeah. in these. Yeah, they, they get real hot because the converters don't lock up. And you've got to have a button to lock the converters up. And uh, just to meet the engineers behind the whole the whole track. Get in here, boys. What are you doing, eh? Brock. Leeson from Leeson Engineering, Dan Buckner, Simply Tuning. These two boys both work under the same house and create really cool shit. How did we go from race cars to land cruisers? I don't know. Accident. It's a BCF triangle. <laughs> Well, I'm about as useful as tips on a pool at the moment, but <laughs> they're pretty excited to see what's fitting, what's not fitting. So far, it's all fitting, so <laughs> she's gravy. <laughs> Did you have to spit on it? No, no, straight in. It's straight small in. enough that it fits straight in. <laughs> We've worked it out. We just make it a tool drive. Heaps easier. Way easier. It solves heaps of problems. You don't even have to worry about that linkage shifter you're trying to deal with. Yeah, no. Just, can you bring the bin over? Start chucking this crap in there. <laughs> it fits a day. Uh, we got the box in, everything fits, transfer cases in. Tail shaft needs a bit of modding on the rear only because of my one. Future ones will be factory tail shaft in the rear, spacer in the front. Boys are just going to make some brackets during the week and finalize the mounts. And other than that, we're just waiting on the gear drive shafts. Yeah, it's going to be in and running, so. Yoo! Woo -hoo -hoo. We're here, boys. Oh, I'm excited. Today's a day. Come down with Mac. We're going to check out what shiny new shifter looks like. Oh, how fancy is that? That's actually sick. That's hell race back. <laughs> yeah. I was so, expecting a stock looking one. Well, I don't think this is what they're going to use in their kits. It'll be an option if you want it. I like it. I think they're going to go with the dial and like paddle shift and. Officially got eight gears in this thing now, and it's automatic. I'm a bit worried. What's going to break now? Uh, probably diffs, <laughs> but we're about to build them, so we'll see how that goes. Put your foot on the clutch. Oh, I just went to put my foot on the clutch oh, and yeah. it's not there anymore. <laughs> the clutch is still, the pedal's still there, it's just right in the bottom. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Alrighty, we're going to go for the first little test drive. Obviously, you guys have been driving around a bit. Oh, yeah, we've been yeah. We'll be <laughs> everywhere. We've got to say, this can't be the first time. Alright, the anticipation is killing me. I know, I know. We're Get it going, turn it on. All sorts we of can't things. find the key. We we'll let go. Yeah. Stay tuned. Basically the same as the old setup, but completely different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my foot's on the clutch. Yeah, forget that foot. Yeah. This, uh, we put a sequential style shifter in it so you feel really manly. Yeah. Um, I'm about that, yeah. but I was just saying, like, you might do a dial off. Yeah, yeah, we'll. Yeah. We'll definitely do a few options. Just run you through how this one works. Basically, you got downshift and upshift. Yep. That's on the brake. Yep. Then you press down, it goes into drive. Um, <laughs> push it forward again to go into neutral. To go in reverse, double tap it. Select R. Pull it back to go back to neutral. Back into drive. When you're in neutral, this button's your park button. Puts it back into park. So if you need to change into low four, 
put it in par, drop it in the low four and done. Handbrake off, pull it towards you and you're in drive. The it's other thing that we've got here. Pretty yeah, good. The rotary dial here. <laughs> the big going on. There's a big going on. Park unless you're in okay. neutral. Yep. P2 is sports auto. Um, P3 is more sort of a manual mode. P7 is full manual. It'll lock you out if it thinks the output shaft's spinning too fast to go into oh. that gear. Oh, that's good then. Because yeah. <laughs> the whole like up there, like when I drove your drift car the other day, I, I went the wrong way. And Andrew's like, no, no, other way. I'm like, oh shit, lucky it didn't shit. It'll protect itself from that. If anyone's going to have a go at braking, it's probably you. But yeah. Yeah, so for now, let's put it in um, auto. Which is just drive, mate. Which is just drive. Is it weird? I need to like strap my leg that back mm. so I don't go, keep going for the clutch. Oh, I do, that's weird. That's weird. <laughs> you were joking. Oh. <laughs> this really stays in like 2000 RPM. Dude, that is so nice. Which way is that? Right. 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 Yeah. Wow. So we're in fifth already. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. Dude, boy, it's like, that felt real quick to get to 60, yeah. like. Have you given it a boot? No. Is it? Look, we did some pretty uh, extensive testing. Yeah, go left, yeah. <laughs> Just pretty it's wild. It's a chase like yours, similar so far. Oh, it doesn't hit gate as much. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> oh I don't have gate, but. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> That's weird. <man. laughs> it pulls hard on the chain. Yeah. Yeah, she's got a nice shift. I mean, you're up in the RPM. Which bit different? Constantly adjust. And learn to driving. Yeah, learn your driving. Check like clutch slip times and adjust for those. Uh, so, in theory, clutches should last heaps longer because it's constantly adjusting shift line uh, line pressures and shift times okay. to suit the clutches. So also, it hasn't learned it properly yet. So it will get smoother over the next two hours of driving. Yeah, right. So that's when the A shows. Yeah. Yeah, or you just bang it back in like grandpa mode and drive it like a normal. Holy crap. So what did you want to touch on for the video for everyone watching? Just because there's a lot of questions. So, boys, a couple questions that everyone's going to ask. One, when's it available? <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I think production will probably start in two to three weeks. We're pretty much ready to go. But we want you to test it. We want to get the test. We want to see done. if you can break it. Okay. Oh. We don't well, we just gave it a, a good razzle then. <laughs> <laughs> Two to three weeks production, then start taking orders. Maybe we'll go with April. Safe bet. 
Yeah. But we'll put the put the link to the email chain where all the info is getting sent out um, for anyone interested. We're going to update everyone at the same time. So as soon as we've got the go-ahead, we're comfortable that nothing's going to be a problem for any customers, we'll email everyone and you'll be able to place the order. But we're going to do it in limited runs first. A reasonable production lead time. We yeah. don't want people ordering and not going to get it for 12 months. Yes. So I guess the next big question is going to be how much? Yeah. It depends how production goes and how... It's going to be within that window that we said in the first video. Which so is 20 to 24 yeah. grand. Yeah. Yeah. Installed in your car. But that's for the setup that Max got. And we will have a few customizable options like possibly the Toyota electronic shifter. So out of the Supra you're saying? Yeah, yeah. we want to use the yeah, Supra one. It's quite a nice modern looking shifter. Yeah. Um, and there's a few other options as well. We've talked to a few people about different center console options. But for the version that is in Max car, will definitely be within that 20 to 24K window. All done. Yep. Drive yeah. in, drive out. That's drive it. in, drive out. And I guess the third question is, will it be a kit that someone in South Australia can buy and, and install themselves? Yeah, yeah. certainly. We're going we'll, we're gonna to look at having dealers around the country yeah. that'll be able to install in different locations. And we are going to work really hard on making it a DIY available kit with videos on how to install it, the install process, the whole thing. Yeah. Should and be able to knock it over in two days. Because they will actually come pre-churn to 79. Yeah. Specs. Everything right. pre-configured, yeah. plug it in, install the gearbox, drive it in your shed. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. Sick. I fucking love it. <laughs> <laughs> Is it everything yeah. you're expecting? Oh, it's just an animal. I just, I had no idea what to expect because one, I've never had an eight-speed car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And to just auto that angry shifting that hard is just freaking wild. Yeah. Like, well, I got to drive a 200 series the other day and the amount of slip they have on those converters where that locks nearly yeah. straight away. Yeah. So through the rev range, you go from first to eighth gear, it's locked. Yeah, you don't right. lose boost. It's just direct yeah, yeah. drive, engine to the rear wheels. Well, the other problem with those 200s is you got to press a button to lock the converter, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, so that's and all automatic. That too, way. yeah. We'll, <laughs> we're sitting at 1500 RPM doing yeah. 100. Like, eight, eight gear. That's insane. Most cruisers sit at like 2,000. Yeah. Oh man, I'm just happy to be a part of it. So, yeah, yeah thanks for all the hard work, boys. Especially <laughs> trying to smash it out before Tassie trip. I'm like, yeah. So, we kind of got a little bit of a deadline. <laughs> Max put him under the pump hard. Yeah. yeah. Big thanks, Brock. He worked like his whole Chrissy break just. Yeah. For you, you for know. For yeah. me. Stop, I stopped working on my car so I could work on your yeah, car. Yeah, exactly. Like, nah, mega stoked for the effort. So, cheers, boys. Oh, look. Thanks, mate. Yeah, well, uh, oh, now that it's so fast, we need to Oh, yeah. It's broken. <laughs> <laughs>
Yep. Didn't expect to come here and get grilled. Can you bring this bubble wrap down with you? Yeah, it's actually just send it in the box. In this is what it's for. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it actually keeps the grill from getting scratched in transportation. Oh, oh I would have done that. <laughs> <laughs> you get what you're giving us. Nice. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> that there you go. Would you like a fine pen? Or a thick, thin pen? We'll or go for one one, I reckon. And then we just flip it upside down and screw it in. It's like a full wine. Oh, look at that! Dude, that looks sick. <laughs> Now it is an 8 speed, it actually has like gear lower than the original first gear that the manual had. So we're just going to do a little low range comparison speed test to show you. Well actually I'm just interested to see how low the low range is now. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be a real crawly boy. Alright, so that's first gear low range with the 8 speed auto gearbox. So it's not actually as slow as I thought it would be, but 37 inch tyres are a lot bigger, so maybe this is a little bit. Is that what you thought it would be? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I actually thought it'd be a little lower, but slower. But nah, that was good. So we've been given the task of putting this through hell and sort of testing it. We are about to do a very big trip, so. It is going to get tested. Nothing broke. We uh, and it was like I'm talking full noise, thousand numeric down the guts of the gearbox, like <laughs> so. Yeah. So far. So far, so good. We'll see how it goes on this big trip. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Let's do it. <laughs> I go back to 